Svantec with a win over the Wimby champ, Elena Rabakina. And uh, you got a giant crowd here who has just poured in after watching you on center court. Madison, first, uh, how did you recover so quick? You were sitting here less than 24 hours ago, uh, recovered like a like a 17 year old out there. I don't feel like I'm 17 <laughs> out there, but as long as I look the part, that's all that really Absolutely. matters, right? <laughs> Uh, Elena has been playing fantastic tennis this year, of course, throughout the summer. You guys played at the French, tough one there. You, you barely got through. How did you create such a big gap today? I honestly, I think that first game that felt like it took 15 minutes <laughs> was really important and was able to get me off to a really good start. And then after that, I just tried to stay out in front as, as best as I could. And after getting broken in the second set, I just knew it was really important to try to break back immediately and try to get back ahead because, she, like you said, she's such a great player. And when she, when she starts dictating and getting control of a match, then things can get away from you really quickly. Well, one of the most impressive stats out there today was you won almost 70% of her second serve points. You were returning so well out there. Was it a matter of uh, just keying in on the return or just kind of saying, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for my shots today? I just knew that her first serve is so good, and when I do get the opportunity to see a second serve, it's so important to try to get ahead in the point as quickly as I can. So was really just trying to, from the moment I could, look for a forehand, try to get at least a step towards the baseline, and uh, just try to get her moving before she could hit a winner against me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you executed on all those opportunities brilliantly today. Um, when you take out Iga, uh, it's so easy to have a letdown in the next match. We've seen that countless times from players over the years. What's going through your head last night? How were you able to avoid that today, mentally? I think that's actually one of the toughest things is when you do have that big win and trying to follow it up the next day is always really difficult. And I think I've had enough experience in my career now of having those matches, figuring out that it's great, but we're going to not worry about it anymore and we're going to solely focus on the next day. But also just not letting that all of a sudden become a lot of pressure and feeling like you have to win or anything like that, just trying to go out and play your best tennis. Uh, this is a very successful place for you. You picked up the title here in 2019. The court's conditions obviously suit you, but aside from the tennis, the atmosphere, the ambiance, what's, what's uh, do, you, do you like so much here? What's working for you so well? I always tell people that this is like one of my favorite tournaments of the year and it's, I mean, the facility is great. The fans are amazing. I love the courts. I love playing in the heat. I mean, it's, you know. You love playing in the heat. I love playing in the heat. It's great. I live in Florida. <laughs> it feels cold here. Um, I just always have really enjoyed coming here. I've been playing since I, I think I played my first one when I was like 17 or 18. So I've just, you know, really grown up loving these courts. And luckily, I've gotten some good wins on them. Well, we, we've gotten to see you evolve so beautifully over the years. Uh, I, I do want to ask your Kindness Wins initiative, which has been so beautiful to watch you develop over, over the recent times. Uh, it's obviously part of your greater purpose as an individual here on this crazy thing we call life. But how has that helped you or allowed you to play better tennis? I think it just, it's... The whole reason I started it was because tennis has given me a platform where people care what I'm saying for some reason and <laughs> I just felt like it was it was such a great opportunity to try to show people how many great people are out there doing amazing things and on top of that just giving those people the recognition because they do amazing things and a lot of times those go unrecognized and um, I felt it was very important to shine a light on that. One of the many reasons we love you Maddie. Uh, well, you're, you're moving on now to the semifinals here. Uh, final four, you'll take on either the winner of Kvitova or Tamjanovic. And um, you seem to be just rolling through these Grand Slam champs. Uh, you preferring to play a two-time Grand Slam champ there or, uh, or, or Isla, who came through the qualifying? Honestly, I think either one is incredibly difficult. I've played Petra multiple times. Pretty sure we've gone deep into the third <laughs> set almost every time. Um, and then Isla is obviously having a fantastic tournament coming through the qualies, has had some really long three-set late-night matches that she's been battling through. So I'm very interested to see who wins that. I'm going to watch it and figure out what the game plan is for tomorrow. Well, listen, I know it's the hottest it's absolutely been, so we're going to let you get into that ice bath, but unbelievable stuff today. Well done. Thank you. They love you here, Maddie. 
Well done. Madison Keys moves on to the semifinals here for the